bumps the axe. Prove yourself. This does not feel good, even though you live. Yeah, he won't give away the first blood, but he's gonna have to go back to base anyway. The Enfeeble placed onto Ace is allowing them to actually do a lot of battle here. If they can get a couple more shots in, plus a Brain Sap, it's not going to be enough. Meanwhile, Fada actually goes for the dive in the top lane and to get the first blood there. Back over the bottom lane, they do manage to land the stun to finish off the Winter Wyvern, but Ace in the lane just to make sure that Bloodseeker had less time. And now he's going to go for a smoke gank onto mid. See if he can set up an early kill onto no one. Passes over the bottle, hoping that it was outside of vision, the mid one par for CS as well. Yeah, and already double blades plus Aquila on Mirana is so much wow. right-click damage. That's going to make it incredibly difficult for Medusa to get last hits except with Mystic Snake. The Bounty Rune is picked up by Solo, but Solo's going to be in serious trouble here. Ace does still have the Enfeeble off, but with such low HP down, the Blood Right goes out. Puppy huddled in a corner here. They're going to try and sandwich him in. Pasha goes to the sprint, hits the stun, finishes off the Winter Wyvern, and they can do some damage on Ace as well. Mid lane, mid watch, dropping low, does have level one flame guard that'll dodge a bit of damage, but it's mostly physical coming at him. The last nuke from no one overwhelms the flame guard. They pick up that kill, and now they can go for the dive on the Absor as well. Roger may be a bit low underneath the tower. They do have the Winter Wyvern team being in, so VP give up on that dive, but Ace, he's made his way over here with the slow and the blood right nuke. They're gonna be able to easily take down this Lina. Ace goes on a killing spree, but it does force him to from VP initially knowing that those TPs are gonna come in slowly. Puppy's TP very slow. What they did not calculate is that Ace was already nearby because he got low. He was at the shrine area, so he wasn't in the bottom lane. A rotation like that, you just don't expect. You expect if Ace wants to go there, he's gonna have to TP in and Good not the kill. case. And he hits the crush on Ace after the Nightmare setup. Gonna try and get in front of him here. Now that the sprint has worn out, he can go for the body block, but Ace just goes the other direction. Solo is gonna get him pretty close to low. Pasha has a sprint up and he has a crush as well. Ace is just not gonna be able to juke this one out. He stays in vision and together they bring down the Bloodseeker next to his tier one tower. Ramses has given up on that lane apparently. He's now gonna be occupying bottom. Wants to stay away from that Marana now. Really big concerns about this mid lane, which keeps getting crashed. Trying to go for mid one, but Fada and Yaptor make the silence play onto the Lina, taking him out. Lagunably does go down, but it only brings Yaptor down a half. Kill onto the Bane. Now the Lina's gonna wrap around a little bit late. This Sleep does manage to dodge the Blood Right, which means he managed to get off the Good Blade, finish him off mid one. Now Ace, he's gonna be hit by the LSA as well. Roger will slow him down with the Void, turns around, gets off the Rupture. It doesn't really matter though. VP could just hang out next to the tower. Bottom lane, Rams could even go behind the tower. Easily brought down by the big nukes. Pasha TP's in just a little bit too late to be able to protect him. Puppy protects himself with the Cold Embrace, but he's gonna be susceptible to another crush. If Pasha has it, Pasha tries to go up the side, starts throwing out. Nuke on a Bane, that'll finish him off. Now Winter's Curse the tower, laid out though. onto the Slardar. Fada will die with the Corrosive Haze still on him, though. He's trying to find a play there, and VP will smoke up mid. Two supports with a level 6 on Bane. Oh, they're going to be able to burst out Ramses. Looks like he got hit by an arrow into the Skyrim Mage Ultimate. They're going to chase him down. Winter's Curse to interrupt the Night Stalker and reset up with, on him with the Flood Right. The big nuke of damage kills him before he could possibly TP out. A ward behind the Tier <laughs> 1 tower. They, uh, they had smoked on VP earlier with the Lina and... Bane. And if he gets the Fiend's Grip, and he does, the TPs are going to come in, but they're just going to throw everything they have to make sure the Ember Spear dies. Solo may die on the way with the nighttime vision of the Slardar as well. He's going to be gone on the Crows of Haze, makes him so squishy, but they do manage to get the save out of the Winter Wyvern. Managed to get the curse on Roger. He's so low, but Ace, he actually gets Cold and Brace. He was trying to go for the kill on the Night Stalker, but he will be saved. No nukes just yet. They still have the vision of him. Solo slowly finish him off. One last shot will catch him towards the backside. Ramses is just challenging mid one right now with the Crows of Haze on him. He can't deal with that physical damage. Solo keeps him himself alive with the Brain Sap. Meanwhile, they do finally go for the dive onto the Amber Spear. Couldn't get out with the remnants any longer. Solo slowly limping away, but Ramses and Pasha will cover his exit. Three down on the side of Secret. All three cores, too. Really? And a fourth oh, one. Wow, yeah. Using this vision so well, the deep wards, the corrosive haze, enabling them to just land all their spells in the this place, I would think, that overlap spells like the Winter's Curse plus the Sky. Oh, nice uh, nightmare there from Solo dodging the arrow, but unfortunately for him, Yapser was in the neighborhood. Able to catch Selena, Pasha comes in, managed to hit a big stun on the mid one, saved by the Cold Embrace. The bounce oh, back, nightmare. nightmare, buys a little time for the Lina, but he still silenced up. The Blood Right catches him as well, and it finally does go down. Solo's not making it anywhere. He got ruptured and brought down. Ramsey's still standing tall, and it looks like Secret do not want to fight into him here. 
knowing that he still has the stone gaze as well, and everyone feels a little bit low. Mid one, well, managed to get the air onto the Night Stalker with the Blood Rite coming out with a chain flock. Now these heroes are going to try and TP out. The Night Stalker goes down. Pasha dies as well. A TP away from Ramses is the only one going to use that. So he actually cancels the animation and uh, preps it for the instant stun. Bottom lane. Deny from uh, Pasha in that mid tier one tower. They uh, Moonlight Shadow up now already. Managed to get the silence, but a Winter's Curse will allow mid one to be able to disengage. Medusa pushing forward. They still managed to catch up. Pasha got the blink stun. Mid one could not make it. Oh, and they got the extra hero, and that's perhaps even more important. Five seconds though. He could just keep up the corrosive haze. No escape. Fata. Very nicely done by VP. They had the sentry there. Jump in, just check things out now. Mid one spots him for a moment. Pasha setting up. He's gonna go for the stun onto the Ember Spirit, or he's just gonna try and back out and give the force over to Solo. Now he's still tucked in the river, and they're just gonna pop him from afar here with the Skywrath Mage Mystic Flare. Mid lane, it was hitting the tier two, and that's exactly what no one was hoping for, especially with the double damage. Hit the LSA, and it should be enough damage. One, two, three, four. Those double damage shots make short work of the Ember to turn this into a Roche play. Secret though with Arrow to scout as well as Winter's Curse. Look at Solo just diving into the high ground once again. Gets a, a nightmare off but gets blown up in return. Now his team is still doing Roche. So Roger, this time it's his turn to just YOLO in. He's gonna get ruptured up, drops dangerously low but they do finally manage to finish up that Aegis. Here comes the Arrow. Roger will sidestep that one but he can't stop the Blood Rite. He's just one shot away and the Skyrath Mage will take that kill once again. Now online as well. Uh, Boy, yeah, this is the question of the one that managed to get the Fiend's Grip on Fada. Winter's Curse stops it, slows down some of these heroes. They pop the Shrine somehow. Fada managed to get away for now. Virtus Pro, though, they sense weakness. They're just going to keep pushing forward. Pasha has another initiation ready to go. Poppy pops a hold of race on himself. Mid one jumps forward, trying to stop the initiation for Pasha. They get the rupture down. Bane is going to drop from Skyrath Mage Ultimate, but Ramsey is still fine with fighting these heroes. And Pasha, they managed to get the Gold Scepter onto the Bloodseeker during that Blade Bell timing. Now, Poppy the Stone Gate slowing down these heroes. They do manage to kill the Slardar into the trees. They go with Gross of Haze on them. They just can't actually get out. They're going to die eventually. Back down underneath their tier two with no SKP now, but they're just getting constantly disabled, hit by these crashes. Pasha has just been so good on Slather. Uh, look at Midwan trying to get away, can't even jump to his remnant right now. He's caught bottom hops, BKB, Fiend's grip out, Winter's first. Oh, that's a big one actually. Laying it to the Night Stalker and Ace will have a lot of low HP here to go for. Bane in the back line does get away. Yule Scepter onto the Bloodseeker once again. Follow up with the LSA, and they're just killing all this mobility of the Bloodseeker. Bit by bit, he's going to be slowed down by the Scotty as well. Another LSA to follow up the Cold Embrace. A TP out from the Winter Wyvern. Slada Crush having an eight second cooldown. It feels like Pasha's getting two or three off the fight. <laughs> okay, don't even lead with Crush, Pasha. Just lead with a guaranteed right click bash. That catches up, doesn't have to have a good start because you're not the key mid game hero. For VP, the mid game hero is just like Slada, Night Stalker, Lena. They're not all in on one hero to make plays for them. Trying to take the fight here solo. Silence onto Pasha, stopping the initiator. That always helps. It's a oh, the big new comes out on the bottom. He is able to leap away until Ramsey slows him down a little bit more. That last shot wasn't gonna be good enough. He has rupture on him, so he gives up on the chase there. They do manage to get the Yule Scepter from Pasha once again, stopping these TPs. Puppy will die a very slow and agonizing death. Stalled out by that aim. Actually, the arrow maybe no, he's gonna be slowed down too much. Couldn't get the sprint off in time. He just be the game-winning moment with like a double damage for their initiation onto the wyvern this time no way and just to be able to save mid one tries to counter initiate grabbing some of these heroes not get hit by that in fact he turns around and gets a rupture on a pasha now pasha has to run out of blood right buys himself a little bit more time no one trying to turn actually finish off ace that was so much damage oh big smoke up from secret arrow not gonna land on pasha three man so by him with the LSA to follow it up that's a beauty ramsey's gonna be able to get all these split shots in first is going to be the Ember Spirit down now Fata has to jump over to the other side of the Roshan pit Pasha's quite low once again with the Winter's Curse that'll finish him off but Ramses after killing his teammate will kill some secret heroes they catch Fata as well as the Winter Wyvern the Ember Spirit it just feels all over for secret now 39,000 gold lead and we're reaching that final fight. Yapsers already gone. Ace is at half HP, has to jump away. The Marana's gonna be caught, slept up into an LSA. Now the Fiend's group onto Ace, and that'll be it. All she wrote for game number one.